Today is a BIM conference that's expanding on the information that's currently out there, standards and guidance around uh, BIM Level 2, also looking forward to BIM Level 3. BIM is a significant driver for achieving our ambitions for a changed industry by 2025. So the government is now requiring the use of BIM at Level 2 on all centrally procured projects by 2016 and Level 3 BIM promises new business opportunities through the use of big data. It's about using BIM as an enabler for change as opposed to being the objective. Not just go through evolution of an industry but revolution. If we sit back and come up with a digital strategy we can try and make sure that we do realise that digital potential. You know, the big part is beyond delivery. This is the big cost. And what we're seeing through Level 2, better business outcomes, early decision making. My advice would be that if you're embarking on BIM on a major project, you need to see, think seriously about having a security strategy in place. Our standards are very important to the industry. BIM is all about data standardisation and our standards support that tenant. So PAS 1192 is now being taken forward to an ISO and this is driving not just the, the UK adoption of BIM but the global adoption. Boardrooms will decide that they need to have a closer grip on information about their asset. The PAS is telling you what you have to achieve, not the steps you go through in order to achieve it. I just want to emphasise that part four is about the UK use of Kobe. It is not the use of a UK Kobe. We believe that we need to change the way that traditional rail projects are delivered in the UK. We can't say in 20 years' time that we wish we implemented BIM. It will be too late. BIM requirements are increasing globally and frequently new technology is driving that adoption. But there's the entire infrastructure of uh, this one particular district. I could now as well go a little bit more in detail. The other thing that people don't consider when they're adopting Level 2 BIM, it's a graded wedge. Aim for the bottom end and move up. We're going to have some workshops to ask questions from the audience who are representatives of the industry, the people who are going to be using, for example, the standards and trying to implement BIM Level 2, to ask questions about what they think about the guidance that's out there and what are their questions, what are their needs and how can we help. We talk about the role of the client and actually understanding what information they actually have. Governance was the second topic we talked about. Ten words or less, what it's been to you. Another tick in the box. Exploring new processes, this actually came through a few times. It's useful for people to know what BIM actually is. The standards who come out will be very welcome. There's a free download on the PASS 1192 Part 2, which will be great. We're rebranding construction. It's moving it. It's innovative. It's exciting. And the possibilities are endless. And I think more than we now can imagine.